sports streaming alliance between Disney's uh, ESPN, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery could face an antitrust review from the Justice Department. Reports say that there are concerns that the deal could harm consumers, sports leagues, and rivals. Join us now to talk about uh, what's at stake. Moselle Thompson, former FTC commissioner under President Clinton. And um, we had to, you know, we've been talking off camera about some of these things, and people weren't listening. So I guess we got to go over all, all, all that again, do we not? That's all right. Is this really going to happen? Um, it's hard to tell because no one knows what the details yet. You know, the devil's in the details. You know, we don't know what the pricing is. We don't know the structure. We don't know what choices are going to be offered. We don't know the name. We don't know the name. You got any good idea? Well. Did you like mine? <laughs> Wide World of Sports? Everybody <laughs> laughed when I came up with that. That was a it's damn been, good name. It's used. not being used. Not anymore. <laughs> but how, off camera we were talking, how can it not be bad for the leagues when you've got these major players all banding together and, and, you know, pooling their resources to, you know, to not bid higher than they normally would have in the past. Well, there are a couple of things that are happening here. I think the, the, the companies are betting, one, that they're going to grow the pie because there are going to be more people who are going to watch things that they, that they wouldn't watch otherwise. Now, I'm not sure the people who watch free TV are necessary and they haven't invested in uh, a cable now are going to be attracted by never get trading yeah. one bundle for another. Yeah, it's one I'm not bundle sure for that's another. true. The second thing is, are they going to provide any enhancements? That uh, are they going to give you something that they wouldn't give you otherwise? And uh, it, it's hard to figure out what that might be. The other way they can they can maintain their business is to drive their own costs down. If they have more leverage over the sports leagues so that they can pay a lower price. Why else would they be doing it? Why wouldn't the sports leagues just say, forget it then? We're going to go to NBC, CBS, Amazon, Apple, anybody else, because we don't like what you're doing. Well, what's interesting is uh, that everybody has been a little quiet. They haven't said what they're going to do yet, because I, I think they were caught by surprise that they the weren't. Yeah, yeah, I think that they were not entirely expecting this. And they are also waiting to see, well, what are the details going to look like? which is why they won't give the details, because they don't want anybody to attack them on that front. That's so exactly true. right. That's exactly so right. Does this ever even happen? Well, it may, it may happen in some form. One of the things that uh, when you have antitrust scrutiny, that um, it may look a lot different than how they've originally pitched it. Right. And, and the Justice Department hasn't even told them that they're looking at it, right? It, it, we're just hearing... And just they, they may be waiting for, as you say, to, to, for more specifics, more about prices and everything else. I still don't see how you do it. I told you what, what, what I said. I still don't see how you do it without the NFL games that, that CBS mm -hmm. and, and, and NBC has. Those are the ones that I want. A lot of that stuff that they're putting in there, I don't even want it. So why? I, I, that's why it's hard for me to. And I already have Major League Baseball. I have all those games already. But I said to you, if they had all of March Madness, mm -hmm. and that's the only place you could see it, I'd have to buy it, probably. Mm -hmm. Well, you also don't know who else. TNT, TBS, oh, okay, CBS, yeah. but you're right, yeah, CBS. CBS has a bunch of March Madness. You don't, you don't know who else they're talking to, either. So, for example, one of the, the, the negatives is the Olympics are coming up. They're not going to provide the Olympics because no. NBC Comcast is. But you don't know who's talking to Comcast. You don't know if they are. So I'm just saying to you that we have to see how this plays out a little. I'm sure what DOJ is they're doing, they're talking to all the potential competitors. They're actually talking to consumer interests. They're also talking to the leagues to find out what are the pushes and pulls, what are the pressures that are going to be on is them. Is there really an argument that an Amazon or an Apple or a Netflix can say, like, oh, they're beating up on us by teaming up. I mean, they have such deep pockets as it is. I could see where an NBC or a CBS would have a complaint. It depends but on what you think your distribution model is, okay? Uh, I think th this is an attempt to distribute in a streaming platform, and <clears throat> the, the entities you just described already show that they have facility to reach an audience online. Mm -hmm. We don't know what that market is going to look like yet. But when you already have someone like this entity, this proposed entity, that people have already talked about controlling 60 to 80% of the sports 
content already. I am sure you're going to hear from Amazon, you're going to hear from Comcast, you're going to hear from a lot of people who don't want someone else to essentially populate the field before they even have a chance to compete. And, the, and you would have thought that maybe someone would have called Roger Goodell before putting this together? Wouldn't you think that they would well, have... Well, Roger was kind of busy last week. He was, <laughs> trying to sign up Taylor for next year. Uh, they, um, no, but yeah, it, it, it just seems like it's such a, a, a sea change that, that you would have, I don't know, had a, a, you know, instead of just springing it on people. I'm, I'm not sure this happens. I don't, I don't, but, it, well, and we work for Comcast. Maybe I have a, right. a, a, a dog or a horse in the race or something, but um, do, do you think that this is the final three that we're talking about? It could, it could expand at some it point? It could, it could. I, we have to figure out what it is. And I don't think that we know enough about what that. it should be is that I can watch whatever I want, whenever I want any That's NFL right. game, any and, and the content is still so valuable, more valuable than ever. How come streaming is such a crappy business? And you got someone wrote in that this is like if you strap three drunk individuals together, they don't walk any straighter. Well, what I, when I heard the news, I guess my reaction might have been a little different than some. I originally thought, well, I know the challenges each of these three entities are facing in streaming. Is this real or is this the spin that they want to give to the marketplace to show that they're actually doing something? Huh. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, yeah, and I don't know that yet until the details come out. I mean, the... It's interesting because Disney's in the middle of a proxy battle, too. Right. So everybody's trying to figure out if they're trying to show that they're exacting value from the contracts they have on sports. And if they have a better story to tell, then maybe that's what they need right now. Right now, I don't know what it is, but I'd be interested to look to find out. And I'm sure DOJ is, too.